What is going on everybody? Dark Sizzle and Pudding coming at you today. We are fishing out of Jupiter Inlet and we are on our flats boat out in the deep sea. And today, since in honor of Shark Week, we wanted to come out here and come specifically to the Juno Ledge where hundreds of sharks live. And we wanted to just show you how plentiful they are and how many are out here, especially during the summertime. Yeah, Darcy caught a Bonita real quick and we didn't even put chum out or anything, and it's sharks just surrounding the place. So it's pretty crazy, and we're gonna show you what's up. So what I'm doing now is sending out a live big old sardine we caught this morning on a circle hook. Six up mustad circle hook, much matched it to the size of the bait basically. And I've got a 40 pound fluorocarbon leader. I'm gonna cast them out, let them sit fairly close to the boat because with the sharks like this, it's gonna be impossible to catch a fish. The bonitas we're more likely to catch. So I'll keep them pretty close and then once, as soon as we got a fish on, I'm going to lock the drag and just reel as fast as I can. So we're going to get a bunch of bonitas in the boat and then we're going to have some fun with the sharks. I think he's getting eight right now. Oh yeah. Come up here. Come up here away from the sharks. Don't want to fall in today. I told you it was going to be almost possible to catch a bonita. Second bonita hooked, not possible. Those sharks are so aggressive. I don't know if Ryan got those underwater shots. All right, let's try this again. We need those bonitas so we can feed them for you guys. Here we go again. We're drifting pretty fast, so we just made a move back up the ledge here. But as soon as we get to a spot before the sharks find us, sending out the bait, He's running like he's, he might got eight. He got eight. That's how quick it is. Wait. Hooked up, circle hook. All right, and I got the bail locked. Cause we're just trying to land him as fast as we can. I did it. We got a bonita in the boat. Ryan's like, let him get shark. Did I want to collect just so we have like two or three so we can actually like hand feed him by the boat as well. But I guarantee you next fish bait that goes in the water will get sharked. They know we're here. All right, here we go. Look at that big old beautiful fat sardine right there. There's actually a sardine shortage in tackle shops right now. So they're like impossible to buy dead um, for bottom fishing. So we're lucky to have them right off our coast. Fresh, juicy sardines. All right, let's move to the front. Okay, here we go. This is not gonna take long. That bonita I just caught is getting really bloody too. So the scent's going in the water. I have a feeling this one's gonna get sharked. Come on, Bonita, big shark. He's after him. He's gonna eat him way down deep. There he is, he's on him. He ate him. Oh no. Oh, oh my God, he got him sick. No, he didn't. And here they come, here they come. Three sharks on him. Watch it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Watch your feet. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Dude, those sharks are gonna come in the boat for that thing. That was wild. One opened his mouth like right here by Brian's toe. It's kind of scary being on this flat <laughs> boat. I gotta tell you, no sides. Those were beast bull sharks. Those are the most aggressive shark species probably in the world. And those are the ones that will eat you. If you are jumping, if you jump in the water with the feeding frenzy, I guarantee they will eat you. I've seen them attack motors. They are just a wicked animal. Wow. And as a side bonus, Dark Sizzle, bull sharks are the only ones that go in fresh water too. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Really working on trying to get this fish up. Mm. Having the drag locked down on a big fighting bonita. A lot of fun. He's close. Ooh, they're so fast. <laughs> Help me. Okay, was able to land that nice bonita right there. 
and the reason why is because we kind of have, we have a little bit of wind, we kind of have drifted off the ledge and the sharks hold real tight to that ledge because there's like a big water upwelling, the fish and the structure is there and then that's where the bait fish congregate as well. So that was kind of the only reason why I was able to land this fish because the sharks are out like another 50 yards from here. So now that I caught them, we're going to bump back out to where they are. Well, that's just, you're also using our shark rod. So you're using a Cabo 80 and 100 pound star well, rod to get these bonitas in as fast as possible, so. Well, the other one got sharked right by the boat and I did it as fast as possible too. No, I know, but I'm not, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that's what you have to use. If you're using a snook rod or some other rod, you just can't do it fast enough. You gotta use high power equipment. Okay, here you go, guys. I don't recommend ever doing this on a flats boat just because it's not the right boat for this, but We've been doing this a while and I'm gonna be careful today. So I've got my gloves on. We got a butterfly bonita here that we caught earlier. So we have literally 10 sharks under the boat now. So let's go. Kind of just gonna let them like go out, drift out. And then when I see the sharks come in, kind of bring it in closer and tease them up to the boat so we can get some good shots. Oh, I see them. Color, color, coming in hot. He almost ate it. He will. Nice big old splash to attract him. He got it. Oh, just like that. <laughs> just like that. I was like telling Brian, I'm like, each bonita is for one shark. We're lucky to get this half back. Go back out. Crazy. Let's go. So many sharks. Oh God. Oh God. Oh! <laughs> I thought he was gonna come up and eat it. Like, and you can see the shot of his jaws, but that was cool. All right, that's what's left. Oh my gosh. Bonita number two going in the water. We're starting to get them in a little bit of a frenzy here. We've got, we're surrounded by fish. So here we go. Here they come, here they come. That was quick. Oh gosh. Just like that, it's gone. Holy shit. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. That was wild, bro. First time ever to have a shark literally eat the GoPro, literally. How'd you get that back? <laughs> I don't know. Check it. It's fine, it's running still. That was in the jaws of a shark. <laughs> Do it again. This is crazy. These sharks are so aggressive. I mean, I always tell you guys this, and if you've been watching my recent videos, you know from my videos that these fish, this time of the year, are just relentless. So now you get to see it in action, and I'm glad we get to take you along with us. Thank you for watching. Try to not let him eat it. Ah! Jesus! Ah! <laughs> oh my God! That was insane, dude. I really tried my hardest not to let him eat it. Then I got knocked on my butt when he just took off with the rope. And then, uh, and then I just saw a giant dorsal fin come out of the water when I was on the floor here. And it scared the crap out of me because it was right here. That was wild, dude. This is so wild being like only six inches off the water here with these massive sharks. They're getting so riled up and so feisty that they're now like, they, he just head butted the boat that time. Um, so they are just, the more and more I throw this out, the more the water gets bloody. They are just all about it. They're wild. All right, Darcy, I think, I think we're gonna call it quits for today on that. That's get, that's, that was a little aggressive, and we need yeah. to make sure you're protected, so. Right. For all fun and games, but when I start ramming the boat, next thing I start eating the engine, because they definitely do that. Yes. And then uh, we're gonna be in big trouble, so uh, yeah. let's uh, call it a day. Yeah, and just being this close, I mean, they literally could technically leap out of the water and bite me too, so it's no good. <laughs> all right, they probably see. won't, but it's no good. All right, let's see if you can catch me dinner.
Don't so, so you got that rainbow runner? Yeah, got a rainbow runner in the boat. There's no size limit to those things, and they're so delicious. Um, so I'm gonna try to get another one here on film. But meanwhile, Brian was fighting off a shark on a while he was battling in a bonita. It was crazy. Yeah, take a look in our grizzly cooler. Got some uh, bonitas for strips. Let me find Darcy. Where'd you put that rainbow runner? Here you go. This is what a rainbow runner looks like. These are super delicious. Some people even use them as sushi. I'm a little out of breath from that bonita. But uh, big grizzly coming in good. Handle, handy. And you can get yours personalized like that too. We made it back safely to the house. Thank goodness. Crazy day out there on the water, but I just wanted to mention the Grizzly Cooler and the things that you see me using in the video. Please check out my Amazon store located down below with all the products that I love to use. And then also don't forget about my fish hook and anchor bracelets that I hand tie myself and make adult and child sizes available, even sterling silver ones, and this beautiful sterling silver shark pendant necklace that I make and sell as well. So get yours for Shark Week. Thank you so much for watching once again. And until our next adventure, follow your dream and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching.